Let me welcome you in AuditingWise video series today prepared on my QualityWise YouTube channel. Let's have a look if in our quality management system certified according to ISO 9001 and EATF 16949 we have a nonconformity. So stay with me and listen to the audit situation. I'm auditing management review report and I see what are the inputs. Among these inputs, uh, there are maintenance objectives reviewed. So, in this report, I see two KPIs which are called first one, uh, maintenance headcount versus breakdown, and the second one, mean time for the machine repair. I was told that the first KPI means how many people in the maintenance department are employed in proportion to the failures which can occur on the machines. And the second KPI means generally how fast the repair can be done on a certain machine. Let's now consider. Is it a situation where uh, we can confirm the requirements or is it a situation where we can say that we have here a nonconformity against the requirements of the quality management system certified according to ISO 9001 and EATF 16949. I encourage you to stop here this video and to consider your own answer. In this situation, there are two EATF um, 16949 clauses relevant which may be confirmed as fulfilled, or maybe not. First one concerns EATF 16949 clause 9321, which means management review inputs, um, supplemental, and it says um, input uh, to management review shall include, and among them in a G point we can read, uh, review of performance against maintenance objectives. Second one concerns EATF 16949 clause 8515, total productive maintenance, where um, the organization shall simply develop, implement and maintain a documented total productive maintenance system. What's more, at a minimum, the system shall include the following, which in F point we can read documented maintenance objectives, for example, OE overall equipment effectiveness, MTBR uh, mean time between failures and MTTR uh, mean time to repair and preventive maintenance compliance metrics. The performance to the maintenance objectives shall also form an input to management review. Knowing the EATF requirements in these two clauses, we shall compare now the audit situation. So, in the management review report, we have seen the evidences the maintenance objectives were included. So we can't state the nonconformity against uh, clause 9321 uh, simply. So let's have a look further. Additionally, the specific two maintenance KPIs meet the requirements of the clause 8515 because the standard is not indicating any mandatory KPIs. It gives us only the examples of OE, mean time between failures and mean time to repairs. This means that in our audit situation the organization mm, meet the requirements. So no nonconformity may be stated here. Let me know your thoughts and your auditing path in the comment and subscribe my quality wise youtube channel uh, while waiting for a new audit situation bye